Trainers Ludo here with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go, and today we're doing everything Alolan style. So, yep, today's video is going to be basically the last uh, week, kind of, since the whole friends and trading and Alolan Pokemon hatching from 7KMs started. So, uh, we're gonna go back in time and slowly make our way up to the somewhat present. So, Many much egg hatchings coming your way. Get excited. Before we start that though, July's Community Day for Squirtle is this coming weekend on the 8th on Sunday. I'm gonna be going live, so be sure to hit the notification bell icon down below next to the subscription button, so that way you're notified when I go live uh, this coming Sunday. It should be around uh, 10.30 to 11 Pacific Standard Time is probably when I'm gonna be going live. So stay tuned for that. Shiny Squirtle, Squirtle Squad Squirtle, and Blastoise with uh, Hydro Cannon. Hydro Cannon, yeah. That's gonna be probably one of the best community days. So, be sure to stay tuned for that. But for now, let's jump to the past and see what we hatch. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Anyways, let's go! Okay, so I just pulled up to work and my two eggs are hatching. One is from New York, from Kimber, and another one is from Virginia. Another saying true. That one's the one from Virginia. So now I have a Sand Shrew from Virginia, and this should be the one from Kimber, so I'm hoping for a Grimer or a Ninetales. A Meowth, I don't have one of those yet, so that's fine. And it's a female too, yay. <laughs> All right, uh, I have that much until that next egg hatches, and by the time I'm off work, I can open up two more gifts to fill those two spots. Assuming each gift gives me an egg. And then, yeah. Okay, so we are home back from work and that other egg is hatching. It is 3.40 in the morning and my guy right now is wandering crazy. So, fingers hatched, or fingers crossed for hatching a Vulpex Meowth from Vallejo, California. See, I wished that Right below that, it would also say their trainer name, kind of like what it does when you do a trade. So yeah, my guy's like super wandering. He was right up, like all the way up here for no reason. This is where I live, as you all know. I don't know what my guy is doing right now. See, oh, now he's, now he's traveling. He's trying to go to the park. That's what he's trying to do right now. This is straight up drift, no joystick or anything. <laughs> we'll see uh, how many cams I can get from this. Okay, next day, egg hatching. Should be two eggs. Hoping for Alolan Vulpix. Alolan Meowth, not what we want, but an Alolan Mouth. One more egg. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna go walk to my street and I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Meowth. And with that now, we have two spots to open up gifts to see if we can get some uh, faraway eggs. So I believe, where did that one person go that's like super far away? I think this one, if I remember correctly. Tyler has them on their list and he got an egg from them and it was like super far, far away. Bummer. Ooh, this one is clearly far away. Hopefully we get an egg. Yeah, an egg from far away. It's like my favorite thing. See, well, that is from definitely far away. I don't have any idea where that's from. Let's hope to get an egg. No egg. And have we, as we've already seen, uh, there is, uh, in their coding, organization for this. So sooner than later, we'll have an organizing button for all of this madness here. Ooh, another one from far away. It's just a 7-Eleven, but again, we want an egg from far away. Yay, we got another egg from far away. 
So now we are full again on eggs. Uh, San Francisco, Washington, Washington, Japan, Tennessee, Japan, South Korea, Buckingham, England. I'm super excited for that one. Thank you, Masterful. Portland and so uh, like I'm going to try and keep my local people as my kind of like regenerating my items, gifts and people that are far away, I'm gonna try and save those to open when I have room for eggs to try and get eggs. Also decided that with my friends list, already being at 178 and I have 57 uh, requests, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through those requests and every other person I'm gonna add until I fill up my friends and every month I'm gonna go through and I'm going to remove about 10 to 20. The good thing is, is removing you does not uh, deflate our friendship or anything. It literally keeps it in the server and it, you know, we can become friends again and our status will still be the, the, the same. I'm not really gonna pay attention much to like who's re-added me, so I, I could remove you as a friend and if you're fast enough and you add me again with my new code, I'm probably not gonna pay attention to the name specifically and hey, you might get added right back again. So, I'm going to try and do that because I understand that, you know, I don't have thousands of people following me, but there are a large group of you that want to be friends, and I totally want to be friends, and I want to give everybody the opportunity to be friends, so I think that right there is kind of the best method for me, is about once a month go through about 10 or 20, and TBH, it'll be based on the friendship, like if our friendship is literally nothing, I'll probably remove you. Unfortunately, this game puts uh, a precedence and a uh, importance to the leveling of friendship. And if our friendship level's not real, well then that's not real life, boo. Anyways, I finally received my lovely package from Australia, from Zoe Two Dots. Look at this gorgeous, uh, come on camera, come on camera. Is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, look at this gorgeous stamp. The queen herself, so regal. It is, that is, that is a beautiful stamp. I'm not even kidding. Tyler collects stamps, so we'll be uh, keeping that one. Yay. Thank you for supporting my channel. I hope you enjoy your new pin, Zoe Two Dots. I will enjoy them so much, Zoe. I'm finally a good egg, and I finally got a spicy Charizard. These will go great on my bag. I'm super excited. It turned out so great, Zoe. Seriously, I know you had to do a, uh, I think you had to do a redesign or something you had said, and it had to do with the lines. It looks so good. It's very legible. It's very, it's great. Yay! Oh, I couldn't be more happy. Okay, now with that excitement out of the way, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, put my hand on the camera lens and see where it comes off next. Okay, another day, another egg. Alolan Vulpix, that's really loud. Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Sandshrew, that's fine. Better than Alolan Meow. And again, that leaves us with one more space for an egg. I know exactly which gift I'm going to open up. Mike draws. Uh, let's hope for an egg from the UK. I already have one egg from the UK. I would love for two eggs from the UK. Yay! Thank you, Mike. Yay! Girl, that skirt, I love, okay, so I love the females' skirts for the gym leader stuff. It's so freaking cute, right? That's the skirt for the gym leader stuff, right? Right? Okay, so now, once again, we have a full uh, nine 7 km set of eggs from uh, Poke Girl, Greenville, Tennessee. I'm not sure where, or I know where that's from, I'm not sure who that's from. I believe that is the one from Mike. That is the one from Masterful27. I'm not sure who this one is from, but there we go, San Francisco. We got one from South Korea. We got one from here. We have one from Japan, Tokyo 2. Is that different than Tokyo? Another one from Japan, 
And so hopefully those will be some good hatches. I can't wait to, uh, even if they are just some Alolan Meowth, I can't wait to trade those to add to the KM badge. So, super exciting. And then, uh, new in the shop, not sure why, I think it's because Articuno is gonna be the reward for the global catch challenge thing that they're doing with the different safari and GoFest events. So Dortmund right now has their event going on. It started today and uh, each different region has a task that we have to complete when we do that. Articuno will be in raids for three hours. Shiny exclusive, I would pretty sure that would be like a super high drop rate of the shiny. And then the first stop you spin in that three hours, well the first gym stop you spin in those three hours will give you five raid passes to help you in getting that Articuno. So there are boxes here. This one is amazing and we are so buying it. 12 super incubators? Ever got. Like, it was just 12 of everything. That's just amazing. Amazing. So, uh, boom, right there, I can, well, no, we're not claiming the reward. So, boom, with that, I can go over here, and we can incubate all of these in super incubators, so that way we can only have to walk 4.7 to hatch these amazing Alolan eggs from far, far away. I'm super excited. I know I may sound robotic. Like, one of my first full days off scheduled this week has been crazy with work. Every scheduled day ended up being an off day and then every other off day ended up ending me having to go in. So, boom, right there. What a beautiful sight. That's amazing. So, uh, uh, yeah. We will probably pick it up when we're hatching those eggs or I don't know. I'm gonna put my hand on the screen and we'll pick up where we pick up. Okay, so we have all of our eggs hatching. We got a full nine set of 7KM eggs here. Meowth. Ugh, that one was from Woodland, Washington. Number two. Grimer. Yay! Yeah! Got a Grimer from San Francisco. Three. Meow. Four. <gasps> Vulpix. <gasps> Yay! From South Korea. Oh my gosh. I got a South Korean Alolan Vulpix. Uh, uh, uh. Amazing HP blown. Uh, uh. Yay. Oh, it's so pretty. And I was not at that many candies before. Oh my God, am I gonna hatch another one? Five. Sandshrew, yeah, Sandshrew. Oh, that's the one from uh, Masterful27. So, bam, six. Meow. From Greenville, Tennessee, I got a poke girl kitty. <laughs> That's my little poke girl kitty. Amazing, HP. Sweet, a good little poke girl kitty. Yay! <laughs> okay, seven. Grimer, yay. Eight. Sandshrew again. Yeah, Sandshrew again. Okay, I think this is the last one. Yes, this is the last one. Number nine. Another Vulpix, please. No, another Sandshrew. That's fine. Sandshrew from Tokyo, Japan. That was the last egg. Shiny check here. No. Bummer. So right there are nine hatches. What a beautiful sight. Our Meowth from Woodland, our Grimer from San Francisco, our Meowth from Vancouver, our Vulpix from South Korea, our Sandshrew from Buckingham, England, our Meowth from Greenville, Tennessee, another Grimer from Gunma, Japan, another Sandshrew from London, England. I believe that one is from Mike Draws, if I remember correctly. And then this other one from uh, Tokyo 2, Japan. 
So yay! Super exciting. Love it. Yay. So couldn't couldn't be happier with that. We got uh, the rarest one, a Lowland Vulpex. Thank you, Jeebus. Yay, super good. So now I have room for nine more eggs. Gonna open some gifts today and do that. But because I am super behind on opening gifts, as you can see, like I'm basically full on friends. Uh, I'm keeping a buffer of two so that way people can still request friends because if I'm full, then nobody can even request me. But I have all of these gifts to go through. Some of them are literally from the very first day that I just still haven't opened because I know they're from far away. So they'll be gotten to. Opening gifts on stream and on video is not as achievable as uh, I thought. It takes a long time. So uh, I'm gonna do those off camera and you know, I'll give my shout outs for the people that give me eggs and all that jazz and blah de blah and yay Alolan Vulpex. So comment down excitement for Alolan Vulpex do you have a Lolan Vulpex yet? I know it is the rarest one to get, and I have seen people, they're like, oh my god, I've had 30 meows, and they still don't have an Lolan Vulpex, and that would drive me insane too. But that's it for now, we're gonna wrap it up here. Please scroll down, give me that like, Maybe consider subscribing if you're not, and if you are subscribed, be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button, so that way you're notified of the next adventure. And we'll see you then, Trainters. Stay fabulous. Bye!